so Coltrane, we're working on a, something that he has called degenerative suspensory ligament, which means in his back legs, his suspensory ligaments have um, expanded and they call it degenerative. However, uh, I believe that anything that can degenerate can regenerate. We've gone the path of allopathic medicine, but we are also doing a lot of holistic, including laser, acupuncture, photonic red light therapy, and he is doing wonderfully with that. So when I tell you what his condition is, I want to be really sure about something. Uh, one of my teachers at the Sparta Institute Learning Animals Dr. Francesco Di Giorgio, he taught me something very important. In humanity, in this day and age, we're a victim culture. Everyone's a victim of this, that, and the other. So we tend to project our victimhood onto our animals, including our horses. So you might look at what I tell you what his condition is. Oh, poor Coltrane, oh, how sad, how this, how that. He's not a victim. He certainly doesn't think he's a victim. He's a hero. So as we work on regenerating, and making him very comfortable and happy. He grazes, he plays with his buddies, he's enjoying his hay, he's enjoying the fresh air, he's enjoying the stars at night. This is not a victim. So I don't look at these animals who may have some complications, uh, or at myself, as a victim or a martyr. We're heroes, we're heroes of our own lives. He's hero of his life and his story. There's Dr. Judith on cue. We're on to five months and it's been a vital part of his regeneration and having a wonderful, comfortable life. Now normally we do most stuff here without halters, but whenever we have anybody doing body work, acupuncture, hooves, that we do use halter out of respect for their safety and their space. I think you should talk a little bit about how he was at the beginning, like laying down a lot and not wanting to get up. A horse laying down is not a good thing um, because if they can't get up, that's that's the end. So we came from that when it was acute and when it was touch and go to him having a wonderful life, playing with LSR, our youngster, and it's, it's just, it's fabulous to see. Acupuncture, as you know, gets in motion stagnant energy, and that can be really intense when that happens. As a human, if you've had acupuncture, and I have, you know what that feels like when that energy starts to move. So she's scanning him right now, and I'll let you take it from here, Doctor. Okay. So what I'm going to do right now is uh, use my fancy scanner tool, which is a piece <laughs> of plastic, and scan over the meridians. All right, so I'll start right here. I'm looking for points that are sensitive. All right, and he'll tell me that are sensitive by a little body twitch of the skin, or maybe more, something more dramatic like a full body twitch. So that right there is telling me he's a little bit sore in his shoulder. So what's also neat about the scan is that say a point that is say we're sensitive here. All right, he might do that by a little twitch, and say he's sensitive here. That would mean his front foot hurts, okay? And then I scan down the bottom meridian, and it could be the medial side of his foot. So it's not just specific to where you sore. So, but here I can tell, yeah, so right here. That is local to this spot. But for right now what I can tell is his feet are very happy. His stomach is happy. So I'd see a big reaction here if they had like stomach ulcers or things like that, or colic. She's doing a great job keeping his stomach happy. So now I'm going to start with the laser on the points that he is very sore and hope that he relax. I really found the laser is a great tool for those that are really sensitive. Uh, both horses and dogs, as you can imagine. If they don't want you to do the treatment, they're gonna let you know. <laughs> it could be dangerous.
There's a powerful acupuncture point called by way, otherwise known as gathering of a hundred meetings. So the equivalent of this in a human is actually at the very top of our head. So this is typically a point that I'll start with, and it's a relaxation point. And sometimes that's the only needle they need. And already the laser's helped. And he almost sat down before when I went down like this. The needle that I'm using is about an inch and a half. 